InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena. Retired Army General Tommy Franks, who's from Oklahoma, and his family were here at Chesapeake Energy Arena, and maybe it was in honor of him that the Thunder just absolutely laid siege to the Indiana Pacers for most of the game. The Pacers rallied, though, in the third quarter, cut the uh, lead down to just one point, and then the Thunder unleashed a barrage of three-pointers coming from the bench, uh, and they spurred it out to a 20-point lead, and cruised from there beating Indiana 105 to 92 Russell Westbrook with another triple double his third of the season Russ with 20 points 11 rebounds 10 assists Serge Ibaka had a big night with 23 points and 10 rebounds Ennis Cantor with 15 points 5 rebounds like bench guys Dion Waiters with 14 points Anthony Morrow had 12 Mitch McGarry had 9 so uh, it was a big night for the Thunder and a really nice win over a Pacers team that has been playing well lately. Indiana had come in and they'd won three straight and six out of seven. They'd finally gotten healthy on the season. The Thunder now, though, have won seven in a row and nine out of ten. After the game, we heard from head coach Scott Brooks and also West Russell, West Russell Westbrook <laughs> and Mitch McGarry. Well, I think we established the, the game uh, early in that game with our intensity on the defensive end. It allowed us to get a lot of points in transition in that first quarter. Uh, I thought that set the tone. And then you got to give a, our, our bench a lot of credit in that third quarter. In the start of the fourth quarter, they came in and hit those big threes back to back to back. Uh, kind of changed the game around when they were making a, a nice little comeback. But I thought... It was a good team win. Everybody chipped in. Everybody um, played with some good spirit and sharing the basketball. Russell's triple-double. He just continues to um, stack games up on top of one another. Uh, he's played well. He's, he's doing a great job of leading us, uh, leading, the, leading the new guys, leading the group, uh, making it uh, all come together. Nick Ellifunder.me.com. What stood out to you kind of from a mental toughness standpoint about what you guys did responding to their run when they kind of were chipping away and cut it all the way down to one? Well, we knew uh, they would make a run. Uh, we didn't want them to, but they're a good, they're a good basketball team. They're, now they're getting healthy. Uh, they're a big, they have a big front line. They're a defensive-minded, tough team. They battle you, battle you um, every possession. Uh, Hibbert and Wes are as strong as any bigs in the league. So we knew that they were going to keep chipping away. You know, I thought uh, we got a little uh, soft a little bit defensively in that uh, third quarter, and then we then we picked it up late in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Uh, Jeremy Griffin, InsideThunder.com. Coach, looking at this team, uh, effectively you've got four new guys with McGarry getting some time in, and uh, the chemistry just seems outstanding when I watch this team play, like they've been playing together all season. What do you attribute that to? I think Russell has done a great job. Uh, you know, Russell and Kevin has been leading us. Uh, you know, Kevin's not playing now, but he's still uh, a great leader with our team. And I think our staff has done a good job of um, putting the guys together on the court early uh, before practice, before shoot around, uh, staying after, just trying to chip away on what they need to, to pick up uh, to be NBA ready, to be Thunder ready. Uh, and I, I think they've done a great job. Uh, but give. Um, Give our guys credit. Our veteran players really did a good job. It's not as easy as it looks. Uh, I know you know we're gonna it's gonna have some tough games on the road coming up, uh, but I, for for the, the three games that they've been here, I think our guys have done a good job of really um, putting it all together and making it uh, making it work on the fly. Uh, Coach, a couple of things that are related. One. Uh, the way Serge is playing right now and the rhythm that he's in, and then also the rebounding. He had 10 boards, but you guys out-rebounded this team. It's an awful big team. That's one of the things they do best. How are your thoughts on those two things? That was the, that was the big part of the game, you know, to get 57 rebounds. I think it was 57. But it was a big rebounding night. Russell, you know, we have the best rebounding point guard in the basketball. So, you know, he's going to always be in there and – and snagging a few over the bigs. Uh, but I think Serge has done a, a great job the last X number of games. But we, we need everybody. We have to rebound as a team. We have to put bodies on bodies. Uh, but it all comes off, it all starts off with the contesting of a shot first. And that's what makes us a good defensive team. And tonight was no different. 
Andrew Gilman, Fox Southwest. Is it just the wins, but to me it looks like the guys are having a lot more fun, whether the bench or on the court or both. Do you attribute it just to the wins, or do you think there's something else going on? No, I mean, it's fun winning. John Moss, ABC in Tulsa. My question might have something to do with Andrews, too. Uh, I know you get asked a lot about Russ, but how do you describe just this run that he seems to be on the last few games? Uh, he's, you know, he's been on a he's been on a run for a while, and he's taken a he's taken it another level. There's no question. He's a, he's a triple double any given night, uh, and if he doesn't, he's always close. He's making shots. He's he's playmaking. He's attacking. He's mixing up his offensive package with pull ups, with threes, with uh, attacks and transition, with kickouts. Uh, he's doing a great job of finding guys uh, defensively. He's as good as any point guard in the league defensively, uh, but he's playing good basketball. But he's been he's been he's been an all star. You know you're not just you're not a, an all star just because people pick you and, and coaches pick you. You're an all star because you're one of the best players in the game. And he's been basically for five years straight. We talked pregame about Serge coming back with the refreshed energy from the break. Do you also think he's playing a little bit different, attacking the glass more? Since no, I, I think he's just playing. He's playing. He's on a good stretch right now. I think every player in this league will have. Some good stretches. He's on one right now. We just gotta keep keep feeding them and keep um, having him keep attacking the, the glass. He's rebounding. He's rebounding with two hands. That's something that we've been um, working with him on, and, and he's he's doing it. He's performing at a high level, and we need it right now. We definitely need it with Kevin out and our new guys um, getting acquainted with one another. He's playing great basketball. Uh, Coach, you know it's one thing for the bench to be able to put points together, but. You didn't have to bring your starters back in in the fourth. With the injury situations you've had over the course of the season, how important is it to be able to rest those starters and keep them out of harm's way? I think it's always important when you have um, when you have a lead and you can continue to build on that lead. But I thought tonight they actually uh, they took the game over. They uh, not only I think that we're up by three to four points at that time, and all the threes that they hit and all the defensive stops and all the I thought DJ he had a one heck of a one for six night uh, he was finding guys and guys were uh, guys were running and they were knowing that he was going to look for them and, and find them open shots and open threes and Mitch was rolling and Nick was popping so we had we had a good mix of guys out there but I thought DJ did a great job of leading that second unit. Well, Russell, last night you guys made Kane a big leader on Sunday, and then tonight they got close, and you guys were in control the whole time again. Where where has this team grown? Um, just playing together, man. We we know team gonna make runs. Um, did a great job of sticking together, um, sticking to what we do. We didn't crumble, and uh, it paid off for us tonight. Another triple double. Do you even flinch at those anymore? You've gotten so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm just uh, just blessed, man, and, and happy to be able to play the game I love every night. Um, and happy we got the win. What do you think about the depth of this team? The bench steps up again tonight, and it was raining threes for a while there. Oh, uh, it was great, man. Everybody's playing with great, great amount of confidence. Man, we're playing together. We're making extra pass, and guys are getting open shots. So it makes it easy on everybody, and uh, I'm just happy to see everybody doing well. Guys are lo losing their minds over there on the bench during that flurry of threes. Why do you think everybody is so engaged with what's going on right now? Um, the spirit. We have great, great team spirit right now. Our, our spirit is, is very high, and everybody wants each individual to do well. And um, everybody knows what the task at hand is, and we just take it one day at a time. Did you have a celebration move up out there that you uh, enjoyed most? Or do I imagine a big uh, No, no. Just having a good time, man. I just like to have fun, smile. I uh, like to have fun playing the game I love each and every night. And that's about it. Defensively, it seemed like you guys took them out of what they wanted to do, particularly Stucky. What, what did you guys do particularly well on the perimeter? I guess? Uh, just pressure up. Uh, we denied a lot of our passes, um, made their bigs, tried to beat us. Um, did a great job, I think, of just pushing them out, making their, their sets. You know, start them further out and, and it benefited for us. Russ, Scotty talked about how you're mixing up um, offensive skills, just different, picking different spots, doing different things. Is that just what's coming to you, or are you really focusing on mixing that up? Just, just learning. Um, just taking what the defense gave me. Um, there's different opportunities to, to, to take different shots and to make different passes. My job is to come out and, and find a way to lead us. Um, if it's scoring, then it's scoring. If it's rebounding, rebounding. If it's passing is passing.
Russell, you guys have built your confidence now in a few games here at home. How much is on you as a leader now to help take that on the road? It's huge, man. I think it's huge for, for myself and also for, for our team to, to take the same intensity on the road. Um, we've been there before. Um, we know what we need to do to win games. As long as we play together, we have opportunity to win the game. You guys seem to be clearing the glass on every defensive stop. How demoralizing can that be to a team to, to make them one shot and done every time? Um, I mean, it's huge, man. Serge, um, Ennis, Nick, Mitch, those guys doing a great job of, of rebounding basketball, even Dre, um, every night. And it's it's tough to beat us, man, when we rebound the ball like that and, and pushing the break as well. It looked like you had a little, little twinge on your I'm leg. I'm good, man. That's what happens when you miss a bad shot. You don't want to look too bad. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm just out there having fun, man. What do you try to uh, the success tonight? I mean, you guys just were, just seemed like hitting on all cylinders right from the get-go this evening. Uh, starts on defense. Uh, once we get out, make stops on defense, get out and run, it's no, no be that can really stop us, especially uh, Russell having a good game tonight. Uh, really just playing well together. DJ, uh, he comes in, he's great. Great IQ, gets the job done, knocks down open shots, and uh, we're just playing really well, playing together. You know, you guys on the bench really kind of turned things around. They'd cut it to one, and then you, and then you guys just really turned the whole game around. Yep, that's uh, that's what we're supposed to do. Scotty puts that second second group in to give us a spark, and uh, you know lift the spirits up when uh, you know get get stops, get out and run. We did just that. Dion was uh, starting to hit for us, and uh, we kept going to him and start start pulling away. So how, how tough has it been for Kevin uh, from the sidelines? I mean, what have you observed from him, and what's he doing to guy to keep you guys? Uh, Pumped up uh, through these ball games when he's out. You know he's disappointed, but uh, he's still there with us, supporting us each and every day. Um, you know he's happy for us that we're winning right now, and that's that's all he can be for us. Mitch, it doesn't seem like anyone has more fun than you do. I mean, you're looking for guys to hug and high five. I saw you playfully slap Brooks on the chest. Is that? I mean, is it just because of the winning, or is this are you just always gonna have that much fun? If I'm if I'm doing something, I'm gonna have fun with them. I don't like doing things. It's not fun. So. Does it seem like you're having the team is it's because of the winning that you guys are having more fun lately, or is it you attributed to something else? Uh, I mean, a little bit of both. Uh, you know, obviously the winning is good, but uh, we're just playing well together, having fun out there. Even though we make mistakes, we're not perfect. Um, you know, we, we got each other's back, picking each other's up, picking each other up, and just going out there and having fun, man. It's a blast. You're welcome. But you guys seem to be limiting everybody to just one shot on, on offense. How big of a factor is that to close out every possession with a defensive board? Like uh, very important. Um, you know, especially with one of these guys who aren't going to really get up and down. They're a bump and grind team, uh, trying to get extra possessions. You know, it's really key for a second unit and, uh, to get stops and uh, get out and run. Mitch McGarry, Russell Westbrook, and head coach Scotty Brooks. The Thunder will not uh, practice on Wednesday. They will fly to Phoenix late in the day, and uh, they have a game out there with the Suns. That uh, would have been and still is, quite frankly, an important game, but the Suns have kind of started to fall off one of those Arizona Mesas, and uh, the Thunder solidly now in eighth place. After that uh, game in Phoenix, they'll fly to Portland for a huge back-to-back uh, -back with the Trailblazers, and then it's on down to Los Angeles to play the pathetic Lakers. The Thunder then will be back here next week, but they're on a roll right now. Things are looking good, so keep checking back. We'll keep you updated right here on InsideThunder.com.